It's a question that should be asked. Just how long will my data last? Before we delve into this, it's worth clarifying just what we are calling data here. Well, basically everything. Applications, photos, videos, notes, spreadsheets and documents. Essentially, all the files stored on your computer. Many of you will have experienced that sinking feeling when you attempt to power up your computer and nothing happens. Or one of your drives gives a cryptic error message and you discover that you've now lost the files that it contained. Had you taken a backup? Is it up to date? Your files could be precious memories, valuable data, or applications you just can't get anymore. So if you took a backup, can you get to those files easily? I've worked on many projects in the corporate world, and when it comes to backups, there is no such thing as too many backups. However, as well as having backups, one question both personal and corporate users should be able to answer is, when did you last test your backup recovery? The only thing worse than that sinking feeling you get after losing files on a drive is the abyss of despair when you realise that the backup system cannot restore your precious files. So wherever your backups are, you need to check that the backup mechanism actually works. Let's assume that you have a regularly tested backup process in place, with files stored on multiple computers and also on a cloud system off-site. You may well have reference files, or those precious memories that were created years ago and which never get rewritten. Just how long will they last? In the UK, it's generally accepted that companies should keep financial records for seven years. For medical records, these could be kept for up to 25 years. But will the storage medium on which your precious files are kept actually last this long? Let's assume your data is held on a traditional hard disk drive, the kind with a spinning hard drive platter. How long this will hold data depends on a few factors. If the disk is powered off, magnetic domains gradually lose their orientation over time, and this could be between 10 to 100 years, in theory. The drive's electronics and spindle motor can fail over time, and a lifespan of 5 to 10 years is more reasonable. Although the data may still be recoverable after failure by rebuilding the parts of the electronics or spindle by making use of some specialist but expensive company. We are assuming that the drive is kept away from physical shocks, extreme magnetic fields and corrosion during its lifetime. If the data is held on a solid state drive, they do have a lifetime based on the number of write cycles. The more the drive is written to, the shorter its lifespan will be. I recently lost an SSD in one of my media computers. One day it just failed, without any warning. It just wasn't accessible anymore. For an SSD that is just being used for long-term storage, you can expect a lifespan of between 10 to 20 years. Again, these are susceptible to degradation if high temperatures say for example greater than 40 or 50 degrees Celsius, or high humidity, or physical shocks are encountered. Let's assume that you have stored your valuable data on a rewritable DVD. Just how long would this last? In ideal storage conditions, you can expect 5 to 10 years for single layer DVDs, and around 4 to 8 years for dual layer. A high-grade DVD read-write may last up to 15 years. Going from a DVD-R, where it can only be written once, or a DVD-ROM, you can push this lifespan 
to 15 to 25 years. The ideal conditions would be temperatures below 30 degrees Celsius and relative humidity of less than 50%. Avoiding UV or intense light is recommended, as this breaks down the dye used on the DVDs. Avoiding scratches or fingerprints as well as any physical flexing of the media is also recommended. If you are keeping your own backups, you will have full control over the conditions and where your media are kept. Another option is to store your valuable data in the cloud. One notable feature of the cloud is that you are delegating the responsibility of looking after your data to the company that runs the cloud service. You are entirely in their hands. Most of these services have a tiered approach, where you get a basic amount of storage and can pay for more should that be required. It's worth looking at just how these cloud services are run. Such cloud services are run from large data centres which store data on an industrial scale. These services are configured to present the illusion that your data is always to hand. But in reality, your valuable files will be moved around in the data centres, depending on how often they are accessed and from where. Files that are rarely or ever accessed will tend to be moved to archival or glacial storage areas, which may take longer to recover. Unlike the storage media you purchase for home use, enterprise storage solutions tend to be more expensive as these are rated to be accessed 24-7. Data centres can also make use of tape silos, where robot arms pick and load the tape cartridges to hold archival data. These magnetic tapes can hold data for 20 to 30 years in ideal conditions. For archival storage, the life may extend to 50 or more years. As with the other storage mediums, it's best keeping the temperature below 25 Celsius and relative humidity less than 45%. There have been a number of well-documented outages of well-known cloud services, which provide facilities to store your valuable files. Having one of these outages occur just at the time you need to access them would be quite frustrating. So, by all means, store files in the cloud. But perhaps don't make that your only backup. So, depending on your choice of backup medium, your precious memories or valuable data could have a long lifespan, and data in the cloud could even exceed your own lifespan, as long as your cloud account remains active. But, as with all media, you should periodically check to see that you can still access it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.